Hello everyone watching Square Enix Presents. So we're here to talk about Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, the mobile game for Square Enix. Uh, my name is Kim, or the community might know me as Galisi on Discord, Twitch, Reddit, all of those good things. Uh, so yeah, so we have a lot to talk about today, and with me is... Hey everyone, I'm Rachel. I'm also sort of a community rep for Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, but I'm also the assistant mobile PR manager here at Square Enix. So we're here to talk about the two latest updates to Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. That would be the PvP update, Pretty long awaited for a lot of people, and the seven star update, which upgrades your stars from six to seven. Your medals, yeah. <laughs> so, we do have a trailer to showcase for you guys. You get a little sneak peek of what we're going to be showing you. So that was the dev build. So there's been a few changes that's happened to PvP. So first of all, we'll walk you through PvP and then we'll talk about our seven star update. Now for some of you, this might be a little familiar, so but you may be able to learn a few little tricks. So what uh, are you gonna show us today? Yeah, so why don't we just go right in and we'll take a look at PvP. Yes. So you can access PvP through the quest screen, which is probably familiar to pretty much everyone who's <laughs> ever played this game before. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and tap on Coliseum and you can see my current rank there. It's got, you know, a little bit low, but, you know, we're going to... E3, we're gonna man. It's, it's taking up a lot of time. <laughs> uh, so once you tap on the call scene, we're going to tap on PvP. And that's going to take us to a screen where we can kind of uh, look at the rankings first. Uh, so you have uh, a limited amount of tries that you can... Uh, play PvP per day. So if you just play normally, you get five tries a day, uh, but if you purchase the weekly Joe's Extravaganza pack, then you get a total of 10 tries per day. So it's kind of an added added incentive. Yeah, added. plus it, yeah, you definitely need the points in order to rank up pretty high. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> PvP is very competitive. Um, so what we want to do is just tap on begin, and that's going to take us to our equipment here. So a cool thing about PvP is that our ranking periods are weekly, and during that one rank period, uh, the Keyblades that you can use are actually predetermined. So for this week, we have Fairy Stars, Stroke of Midnight, and Treasure Trove. And that will be ending tonight. So if you're, if those are your three strongest medals, you want to get in tonight before it resets. Yes. But also a really good thing, too, is that if maybe you didn't have a lot of time to play this week, like me, <laughs> we've, been, we've both been Yeah, it happens. Uh, the ranking resets on tomorrow, or actually tonight at midnight. Tonight, yeah. So you get a fresh start. You can start clean and, you know, get all the way up to rank number one. Um, so one thing that we can do here is we can take a look at the different metals that I have equipped on my Keyblades here. Um, a handy feature is that you can use this optimize metals feature button right here and that will automatically kind of set the best metals uh, in the slots for each Keyblade. We can also kind of drag and rearrange our Keyblades if I want to, for example, put Stroke of Midnight first. Uh, but for me though, you know, I really like Fairy Stars. I don't know about you. No, everyone does. It's everyone's favorite Keyblade. It's exactly. super strong. It's very versatile. Yes. Um, though, is there a strategy? Like, would you want your strongest Keyblades first? Or would you kind of go for the weaker ones first and then give them a big punch? So what I like to do is I like to start off really strong. Just go in there, my yeah. best, my yeah. best setup, my strongest Keyblade, which as you can see, my Fairy Stars is pretty strong. Um, and then I tend to put my weakest Keyblade in the second slot. Um, just me personally, and then I'll kind of follow up with my my other, my second strongest Keyblade. Um, but there are a lot of, you know, people probably are coming up with a bunch of crazy different strategies. Um, another strategy that people uh, really will really seem to be key is using a lot of defensive skills. Yes. Defensive Tur metals. There's no shame in turtling in this game. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, so definitely using defensive skills like, you know, defense boost three max. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. <laughs> Defense boost four. You know, anything that you have. Also, uh, skills like triple threat, 
paralysis plus, poison plus, sleep plus, anything like that to kind of inflict status effects as well can be super helpful. Which also helps if you have traits like paralysis, resist, sleep resist. You know, people will be bringing those medals to, or those skills to PvP, so having defensive boost will always help you. It's it's good because I, I tried out the whole power move, like just straight up going pure damage, uh, attack boost max everything, and uh, it was not as successful as I had hoped. So yes. having a balance of attack plus defense, like you can even sort that in your medals, like your fairy stars can be your full on defense. If that doesn't work out, you have two, two keyblades that can, you can put defensive medals and traits in. Um, so about the medals, are you able to equip all of them, like you can have the same setup in each one or is it independent? Uh, so no, so actually one unique thing about PvP, so normally when you play Kingdom Hearts you can cross at any quest or event, you know, you can have the same medal equipped on any number of keyblades that you have. In PvP though, the same medal can only be equipped once. So for example, if you happen to have two copies of a medal, then you can put one on Fairy of Stars, one on Stroke of Midnight. If you only have one though, you know, it can only go on one. So you have to really be careful about yeah. where you want to put everything. Um, um, but, you know, you can't just have Kyrie everywhere. You know, Kyrie's great, but we have the stained glass meadows now that provide uh, more specific buffs that don't it won't heal you or do some general defense buffs. But if you have like a pure car power keyblade, uh, having like this stained glass Riku, stained glass. Uh, um, all of it, like any, they're very specific and will definitely help you out, especially if you don't have more buffer metals. Exactly. So you can see, actually, I have two of the same <laughs> class Riku. Yeah. So I have one there and I have one there. So that's the only reason why. Um, <laughs> but they are all unique. So you can't use the same metal on each keyblade. Exactly. Which allows you to put different skills on different metals. You can utilize metals that you never thought would work out, especially with the seven star update, which we will get back to in a little bit. Yes. So, how about we just dive in? Yes, let's I want to see you let's, battle someone. Well, let's, right let's see. You know, and if you're the person happens. we're about to battle right now, this is all, we don't know who we're battling. <laughs> exactly. Um, we hope you're really good, but we also hope you're not. Cause we well, I don't know. I don't want to get beaten. I know. I know. That's what I'm saying. We want to win. Like, yes. we, yeah. Okay. Come on, guys. All right. Good. So, one interesting thing you can see when you open up the, uh, the screen where you pick your opponent. Um, so, my current rank is up here. As you can see, it's uh, yeah, not, not that great. Um, but we can also see the ranks of the other players and so here I can kind of strategize and choose so for example this person down here who's ranked 12,000 uh, they're probably very strong so I don't really know if I have a good chance of beating them so maybe we'll not um, out of these maybe I'll just take the kind of the person who's the, the lowest rank here but if you do that you won't rank as high yes but you know baby steps baby steps That's true so what I like going we'll all take out, you though. on uh, so Kima if you're watching this, um, you know, let's, let's battle. Let's thank see. you for volunteering. Yes, Tina. thank you. <laughs> so let's get right into it. I love how the opponent comes into the screen. You're data, man. That's how it is. Yes. Okay, so I'm just going to put it on auto. Yes. You can uh, individually click the metals if you prefer to do that. Um, there can be the strategize with your gauge use or something like that. I'm just going to let it go through. So does your Nova work the same where you can use it in, as after each Keyblade rotation or can you only use it once per entire round? You can only use it once per entire round. So strategize. To, yeah, strategize. So I'm probably not, I'm not going to use mine this round since Fairy Stars is my strongest. Um, oh, she's got defense boost too. It's yeah, def see, it, it never underestimate defense. I've seen defense boost max one, and I've still lost because defensive medals are key in this. They, they really are. So, okay. Oh, see, I have defense boost three max on this one. So, yeah. see, look how effective that is. So definitely, uh, defensive medals very important. In the case that you don't have as many defense skills as you want, that's where you can strategize with certain keyblades. So if you want to have very like be all out, then you know you can save your defense with max skills for any other keyblades. Um, there are three rounds. Yes. Uh, it's best of two, so two out of three. Um, so currently. Rachel won the first round, but we'll see what happens in the second one. Yes, and so now my opponent is going to go first. So let's see. Oh, she's got, I love the stained glass aqua metal. She's so pretty. Yeah, seriously, I love it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so another thing that might be important is your outfit. Now, in Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, you can have perks assigned to the avatar boards that we release periodically, or you can get them <laughs> through avatar boards. Mm -hmm. um, so currently, if you have your like your skill max, uh, I think current top is 36, mm -hmm. then your skills have more of a chance to prop, which is very vital when you're doing PvP because you want your defense boost skills to prop or your attack middle skills to prop. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's not a guarantee to have every single thing unless it's a max skill. Yes. Then you know those are awesome. Yes. Well, my opponent, she did. Yeah. Yeah, she did a lot, a lot of damage. damage. Yeah. Um, 
My Come on, I believe fret crocs, so that is nice. Okay, set her off. Yep. Now this is asynchronous, so this is not a live battle. She'll when she checks her rankings, is it she or a guy? I'm not sure. Um, you'll be able to see like whether you've dropped down, whether you've moved up, that sort of thing. So Kima, she brought it. Oh man, she, she did brought it. Okay, in. this is okay. her second strong. Oh no, but she, oh, she's got. Three. Man, see, defense boost max. Never underestimate oh, any defense yeah, see, Even defense boost one max. <laughs> it's useful. That's what got me down, man. I've, I've lost against that. <laughs> then again, I haven't had as much time to play as I want to because I've been doing the global festival that's currently going on. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, that's good. good. You're supporting global I version? Am. Come on, global. Let's do this. I mean, I love Japan. Don't get me wrong, but I global, we need to bring in. Really. So I did. Oops. So that's another thing. Don't forget to use your Nova. Because after you go through all your medals, uh, you can't use it, so, you know. I distracted her with the Global Festival talk, that's my bad. Yeah. It's okay, you can try to find me on those things. I'm, well, I'm probably down to like 57,000, <laughs> so I've played one match this week. Uh, I won, but not... But you know, you still have time. Like I you said so. before, the rankings, they reset tonight at 11.59 p.m. PT. But I won! Yay! Yay! We did not look bad on screen. Oh, well thank you, Kima. That was a very good match. Um, <laughs> thank you, Kima. That was awesome. So yeah. So this is what will happen. So if you win, you and your opponent will swap uh, rankings. Uh, if you lose, that that's also the same, same yeah, deal. Exactly. <laughs> um, if you have a tie or anything like that, then there won't be any uh, change. Or if you have a time over, so the battles have a five minute limit. Uh, so if you get to that point and you know you don't finish the battle, um, then nothing will happen. Your ranks will stay the same. So, and I got some points from that, which are great because I can use them to get fabulous rewards. Yeah, I love that. can touch upon, and those uh, are very important for seven star medals. Yes. Um, one last question. So, if we, if you're like a total, like I want to go all out, can you find people in a very high ranking, like top 1,000, top 3,000, and challenge them? So, the way that you challenge opponents, again, you're going to click that begin, I'm going to say confirm, and that's going to bring up the three opponents. So every time it does this, it's going to just bring up like three random people. Um, so if I close it again, it's going to bring up three more random people. Um, I think the higher that you, you know, you rank, you bring yourself up, it's going to give you a stronger kind of pool of people. So you kind of got to, you know, just play more, get up there, and then I'm sure you'll eventually get up to this scary, you know, rank 600 yeah, person. Yeah, that's, uh, I've seen some crazy setups. now. Just a note, losing is okay. You have plenty of, of, of time. You have the entire week to, to rank up, to strategize. And remember, if you have a Keyblade that worked for you so well in PvE, like you did all of the Organization 13 quests that are going on with your setup, it may not work in PvP because there's different um, buffs that players... Remember, the players that you're fighting have the exact same setups that you do. Some may be better, some may be worse. You just have to find a way around it. Um, but one thing like we touched upon before, the fabulous rewards. Yes. So if I go over here to point rewards, I can see. Uh, so the more points that I get from PvP, the more rewards I get. So currently, ooh, look, I got one bronze ticket. So obviously, <laughs> I need to play more PvP. Yeah, I, that's, busy that's about what I got. Um, so we can see what we do with these tickets. Yeah. And so that goes into seven star medals. Those are all for seven star medals that we'll talk about right now. So. Draw tickets are how you get the blue fairies. So basically what they'll do, they'll allow you to upgrade your medals to seven star quality. Now, in order to upgrade your, your medals from six star to seven star, they have to be completely maxed out in their level and their special attack bonus. So that's a very vital key. So if you're, if even it's like a tier one medal and the max bonus is 25%, you have to have it at that max 25% in order to upgrade it to seven star. It's the same thing all the way up to tier eight, which is 220%. 230. 30. Yeah. yeah. I totally play this game, guys. Uh, so then once you get those tickets from PvP, you just come here to the shop, and I can even pull, just so I can show you what it looks like. You'll pick, you know, the, the banner that you have the ticket for, and we're gonna get five medals. Yay! So, I have these, I can put them towards evolving uh, medals from those special attack, attack bonus tiers. Now, you can upgrade any tier. You don't have to worry, if you don't have, like, say, a ton of tier 8 medals or tier 7 or tier 6, it doesn't matter. You can upgrade all of them to 7 star. And it's pretty awesome because there's a lot of uses for 7 star medals. Yes. Uh, one of them being for subplots, which is a new feature that was also introduced into Kingdom Hearts and Kingdom Cross. Um, so basically, they'll work as additional multiplayers into your Keyblades. So you see them right there. Um, you have to match the corresponding. Um, power, like say so right there, you have to use a power mount to get in there, but it can be any tier. So if you have a ton of tier one um, blue fairies, use them for your subslots. Having subslots is so vital. You can see the multiplayer going up for the Keyblade, so, and it goes up to 120. 
So that's a lot of metals to upgrade. And so if you don't have as many uh, higher ranking blue fairies as you want, don't worry. You can power yourself up in other ways. Yes. So you have, and it's, it can work for any metal. I'm serious. Like tier one is my is my sub slot fodder right now. It's amazing. Okay. Plus, if you upgrade to seven star, don't look, don't think that a tier one metal is going to be lame. There, we recently got a buff to seven star metal, so they're even more powerful than their six star counterpart. I'm talking the multiplayers have good, are insane. Yes. So that's added on to your special attack bonus. Yes, exactly. So further, you know, more reasons that you definitely want to try and play PvP as much as you can, so you can upgrade as many as your metal of your medals up to seven star and really take advantage of all of this new power. And it's also just fun, I think. I mean, yeah. because we have all these medals. If, if you've been playing for a long time, you know, you've had, for example, like your is it tier three Iago medal. You know, but oh, now, yeah. <laughs> now I get to boost him up to seven star, and now I have so many more uses for this model. I can incorporate it into different setups. So I think it's just kind of a fun way instead of you know just adding this top you know new medals, new medals to go back and kind of use some of the old favorites that we have. Do you have any seven star medals that we can use in PvP right now? You know, I, I do. Uh, I don't have very many, but I can actually upgrade one right. Now. Oh, let's do that. I want to see how I've been. I've been waiting to do this. So <laughs> it's pretty magical. Yes. So I'm gonna go to my medal list right now. And let's see what are we on right now. You'll be able to tell a seven star metal because it has a super fancy background, as you can see on our overlay. <laughs> okay, so the metal that I want to upgrade today <gasps> is this guy. Warrior is hands down my favorite metal. I yes. worked so hard for that high high score yes. challenge for that guy. Yes, and yeah. yes. So this was a this was kind of an event reward medal from a collaboration we had with Final Fantasy Record Keeper uh, a little bit ago. Um, this medal, yes, we have struggled. <laughs> struggled to get it, um, and I've been saving my tickets, working hard at PvP uh, to get all of the fairies that I needed, and so now I'm going to go ahead and upgrade them. So as you can see, you can see his current damage multiplayer, multiplier. Yes. I keep saying multiplayer because this is technically a multiplayer game, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> so right now he's currently at 6 stars, but his uh, special attack bonus is max, his level is max. He's an awesome metal, just as he is, but I want to see him as a 7 star metal. This okay. is pretty amazing. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm going to go to the ball. And as you can see, I've met everything. I have all my fairies. I've got he's max level. He's got max special attack bonus. So we're good to go. So and then remember, once you upgrade to a seven star medal, you will have to level up again. And now it's even higher. So I hope you've been saving your XP medals because you're going to be using them a lot alongside money. Oh man, this is beautiful. I feel, I feel so happy. I haven't upgraded mine yet because I have not played as much PvP as I need to. I need to see him in action. Yes. Please. Okay. One more battle. Maybe okay. not against Kima though. Okay. Like, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kima. Kima went hard. Okay. Yeah, she did. So let's go back to my quests. I can lose. This is exciting. This is exciting. So this is my, this is my first sep, uh, seven star medal that have actually evolved beyond like not like a tier one or a tier two. <laughs> I've been involving tier one and tier twos because I want I have fifty out of one hundred twenty on my fairy stars for sub slots because mm -hmm. that's what I'm trying to focus on because I haven't been able to get the higher blue fairies. Mm -hmm. That's my strategy right now. Okay, where should I put him though? Um, I could swap out Sephiroth. I mean, I mean, it doesn't have to be. Maybe in fairy stars. Yeah, let's just put him. In See, right now, I bet you anything that the chat's going like, listen, this is the best optimal place. Yes. You're gonna put okay. it in the wrong place. Yes, we're not. All right. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. I could swatch I could swap out Repliku. But don't you want to copy your your Vexen medal for that sweet defense buff? I know he would copy my Sora, my, my key art. Oh, I see so, what you mean. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I'm with mm -hmm. you on this 100 percent Okay, so I'll just yell at me, by the way, because I'm okay. I'm telling her to do this right now because right. I need okay. to see Wool in action. Okay. And he's I didn't even level him up. He doesn't even have a skill. I See, this is this I is how we're we're toning it down. <laughs> so. I mean, we can level him up right now, but yeah, I want to see him in action. Yeah, no, because he yeah, still has take, a pretty great multi. Yeah, that would take multiplier. Him. Oh my goodness, it's a you know, it's an epidemic. It's a hard bird. Yeah, it's a difficult. <laughs> okay, so plus it's E three. There's so many things going on right now, guys. It's great. It's very exciting though. Okay, so as you can see, my fancy new metal is there. Uh, I'm just gonna keep my same order, you know, that seemed to work for me the first time. So yeah, let's try. Okay, let's see. Okay, fingers crossed that comes we up. use wool to his full potential. Okay. And everything will be great. Oh, 
These people look strong. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna go for- Well, you have a seven star medal. I'm gonna go for you, so name No, or... go for 9,000. No. I believe in you. Oh, Lu come on. Lumaria looks really strong. It does, she does! Or he. I think it's he. Yes. That looks very strong. Okay, so, strong. so name or Mame, uh, I'm going to go. We're, we're gonna do this. <laughs> darkness is Prince. I love his title. Yeah, that's awesome. He's okay. gonna bring the darkness to you. Oh, I'm scared. Because <laughs> you didn't have three here. But I have the Warrior of Light. You do have the Warrior so of Light. So maybe, you know, it was meant to be. Oh, come on. Okay, so your Kyrie goes first. Yes. Is this the, the Keyblade with your defensive skills as well? Yes. Okay, awesome. Yes. I have, we my, have this round in the bag. my Vexen buffs from the past Orbit 13 event. That was a doozy. Yeah, that was tough. Actually, no, I I struggled a little bit more with the uh, Lexus event. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I don't care if I put you that word, guys. He's Lexus. Okay, perfect. I was like, All right, run out of gauges. Do don't run out of gauges. Oh, he's got defense boost too, Max. Though, he does. So, yeah. man, that defense boost that's is pretty pitiful. Pretty pitiful. Yeah. Yeah, I got this. Don't worry, guys. But don't worry, because you have your defense max, so let's see. It's basically, you guys are just hitting each other with wet noodles, except for Wolf is amazing. <laughs> but don't worry, she, she won't have to worry about, about gauges for the next match. We're switching keyblades. Exactly, so when we switch keyblades, I'm going to go back to my max gauges, so I don't have to worry about it being at zero right now. But do make sure to use your Nova, unless you have already. Well, it's really close. Oh, nice! Okay, so we won one close. round. Yes. We just have to win one more, and then we take the gold. Okay. Maybe not gold, maybe silver. <laughs> Silver ticket. So that would be nice. <laughs> I know, right? So the uh, gold, silver, and bronze tickets all will get you different level of the fairies. Um, currently, gold tickets will get you tier five to eight. So they're pretty desired, but they're for the top um, PvP ranking so far. So currently, that's the way to get draw tickets. Is those um, is through PvP. Cool. Okay. He Nova. Okay. Well, he remembered. He did he remember Nova. Nova. He's so. probably watching the stream and is like, I'm gonna click Nova. Is what I do. I do really like his pet. He has the new uh, spirit parts that yeah. you can get uh, through monthly missions. So the more you play, the more lux that you earn. You can get those spirit parts that he has on his little pet. That's super cute. Do you have any of them yet? I have everything except the purity pouch, which I have it. Oh, I need it. Cute. I'm halfway there. Um, again, E3 kind of just threw a wrench on all my grinding plans. I mean. So yeah, so we talked about the Global Festival going on, so if you want to collect Lux to get those pets, now is the best time to do it because not only will you get all of your limited missions for June out of the way, but we'll beat our other shit. Ooh, okay. Look at all right, well, Ben's food. What's, what's going on right now? Okay, we're we'll with four. Yes. He took the second match. He knew. Okay. What's Who knows what's going on? Ah, oh, Launchpad. The DuckTales collab was something that was very near and dear to my heart. Take it, I'm going to take it off so I can remember to Nova. Oh, right, Nova, yes. Yes, I remembered. Okay. Don't forget, don't forget. Okay. One thing for your stained glass medals is to always put them slots one through three yeah. so that you get the best buffs for them. Don't judge me. Oh no, I, I mean, I saw it and I was like, I should probably, I should probably note this right now. I just realized that was your setup. Yes. I, I uh, you know, do as we say, not as we do. Basically. Yeah, our, uh, our practice is much better when we're not on camera. Ooh, I love, I thought that metal is so So that has to be a seven star because a lot of the World of Fun Fantasy medals have been super popular yes. to upgrade to seven star. But I did it. You did it. Yes. See? Darkness is princey with the 100% warrior of light. Of light. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, yes, yeah. totally not. And again, as you can see, I ranked up, so we swapped ranks, and now I have a big target on my back, I'm sure. <laughs> no, this is good because now everyone watching will be like, I need to be Rachel at this. Like, yes. I have to prove I'm better than her. Yes. And then they'll do the rankings, they'll get their, their bronze tickets, their silver tickets, their gold tickets, and keep advancing. Yeah, exactly. So remember, we are the, the current ranking. So if, like, if these are your, like, your three metal or three best Keyblades right now, Play it tonight. Play it before the reset at 12 a.m. But remember, it's super important. Don't play during the reset. It's bad. Yeah. Just if if you're like if it's like 11:57 and uh, it's about and you you're about to start, don't do it. Just wait until the next day. Get your brand new keyblade. So it's super important to upgrade all of your keyblades now. Plus, with the latest update, it made it a lot easier for you to upgrade your keyblades. You don't have to worry about tons of mithril shards or adamantite or. You know, any of that fancy Those stuff. things are gone. Yeah. Yeah. Which, man, I started playing, like, before, so I, I spent all that time grinding on the weekend, making sure I had a lot of micro crystals and shards, and now it's, 
You guys are spoiled. That's that's what it is. But it's also super great for anyone who's new to the game. You can just hop right in. And so some of these keyblades that we have um, that you use in PvP, some of them you get later on through the, the story quests or through Proud Mode, which is if you are a fan of the Kingdom Hearts series, which I'm sure you are, um, they're just kind of the, the more challenging versions of story mode. Um, but even still, you know, you can by just picking up and playing now, you can upgrade those early Keyblades, um, you know, pretty pretty easily and hop right into PvP yourself. Another good use for seven stars is if you've had issues um, going through Proud Mode quests. Especially, I've had some, I've seen some things with Proud Mode quests 160 and 230. Upgrading to 7-star is going to give you a phenomenal boost, especially if you already have those medals maxed out. Just get those blue fairies, just play PvP, you get jewels for it, you get your everything for it, and then upgrade, and then you can just breeze through proud mode. Yep. And get revenge for all those times you just could There's just one little thing. I'm not repressing anything. I'm fine. I finished proud mode. <laughs> all caught up? No. Uh oh No. Completely caught up? <laughs> I, I got past 230. I'm currently at proud mode quest. 312? Oh, good. So almost. Okay, almost yeah, there. Getting there. Yeah, in there. That's good. It's it's tough, but uh, it's it's a proud achievement for me. Absolutely. And then another super nifty thing that you have with the optimized metals button, which I showed earlier in PvP, you can also use that for proud mode as well. So that makes it super super fast to go through. Yeah. Because before you'd have to individually select all the metals that you had to use depending on the pools, but this way you can just put them all in there. All those random get quests. on your way. Yeah, like getting the the medals that are random hits. Those are so rare. Those are, those are the ones that kick my butt in proud mode. It's like only equip two medals and they only can be random hit. Yeah, that's great. Those ones were <laughs> those ones were really hard. Yeah. But now like, again with uh, our seven star medals, you know, it should be a little bit easier. A little bit. I mean, it's not gonna win the game for you. You still have to strategize a little bit, but it's definitely gonna help out. Yep. So we're we're about to end. Is there anything exciting going on, in the, or potentially will happen in the world of Kingdom Hearts for Union Cross? Ooh, that is a good thing. Well, we've kind of talked about this a little bit in the past. If uh, any of you watching attended our Dandelion uh, meeting, Dandelion which was meeting, our first uh, fan event that we had just a what was that like two months ago? That was April fifth. April 15th? It was on a Sunday, and it was amazing. Yes. Everyone there was super awesome. The great decorations, great script. Had um, uh, the franchise director, Tetsuya Nomura, there. Thank you for being there, just being awesome. Um, our producer, Okayama-san, was also there. Thank you very much. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, they made two very big announcements that day. Uh, so one announcement that we had was we are doing a collaboration with uh, Toy Story. So we're going to have a Toy Story Land event that's going to be coming uh, coming soon. Yeah, right around the we corner. We don't know when, right, but it will well, be soon. It will be awesome. Right around the corner. Uh, so there's going to you can look forward to some new events, some new medals, maybe you know, kind of some fun fun. Oh, medals are coming. Too. There'll also be a lot of community stuff that I have planned for you guys. So if you guys aren't following us on Twitter yet, I highly recommend it because I'm gonna I have some stuff planned for you guys that I'm really excited about and I have it all on the spreadsheet, I have it all scheduled out. So you guys make sure to follow us on Twitter on uh, the Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Twitter and you'll be able to see for yourself what we have planned for you this summer and autumn. Okay, so I think we covered just about anything. Um, so thank you all for tuning in. So remember, it's Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. It's just diving even deeper into the world of Kingdom Hearts. And Kingdom Hearts is a huge world. Like, if you've only played the mainline games, you're missing out on a ton. And Kingdom Hearts Union Cross is no exception. The story there is amazing. It's all there for you guys, just ready to play on your mobile devices. Yep. Uh, but yeah, I think we're going to have to wrap this up because there's a ton of exciting things going on in E3 and I want to go see it. Yeah, me too. So uh, thank you all for joining us. Uh, again, I'm Kim, also known as Glacy. And I'm Rachel. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye and enjoy E3. It's awesome. Yeah, see ya.